Hello and welcome. Today is a May 11th, 2020, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. Okay, so I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and a happy Mother's Day uh, to those of you uh, who have celebrated and I really hope that you had a, a beautiful weekend. And so uh, I'm very curious to see what the collective energies are like for the masculines and feminines. So let's go ahead and get started. Dear Spirit. Source and universe and all the powers that may be, please use me as a clear channel to receive the most truthful and accurate information in regards to the masculines and feminines. Please remove all ego from this reading so I can use this on it so I can interpret messages clearly and accurately. Please bless this reading. And dear spirit, what is the current overall energy of the masculines and feminines? And what is their energy towards each other? What is the current overall energy, please spirit? And what is the energy towards each other? Thank you. For masculines, we have liberation of free yourself. So I really feel like this masculine is learning to free themselves from whatever situations that they're currently in. I feel that this masculine feels stuck. Okay, that's the feeling I'm getting. And towards the feminine, we have serendipity, merge with the flow. So I really feel that this masculine is going through some sort of serendipitous, uh, like, uh, situations, thoughts. Okay, things are coming to this masculine. Perhaps you might uh, cross paths with your masculine by chance, okay? That is one feeling, but honestly, I really feel like this masculine wants to free themselves from a physical situation that they're currently in. Because, you know, I feel like the energy of the feminine is coming towards the masculine. And with the feminines, we have euphoria, honor yourself. So, feminines, uh, you know, I feel that, you know, masculines, they had this the last time from last week. And I really feel, feminines, that you are learning to honor yourself at this time. And towards a masculine, we have resilience. Burn the past away. So, wow. <laughs> feminines, you're letting go of the past. You know, last week, um, you know, you had Avenois, okay, which I feel like, you know, you're le releasing the past, but you were still holding on to it because you don't know what the future holds. But uh, today, you're just letting it go, especially with the masculine. Because I feel like by letting go of the masculine, you are honoring yourself because you don't like, you know, reaching out to your masculine. You don't like waiting for your masculine, especially if the masculine is stuck because I see that they're learning to free themselves. I feel like this masculine was per perhaps with um, maybe a karmic situation that they felt stuck in and they just want to flow towards you, feminine. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So next, uh, I'm going to use uh, The Masculine's Madness, okay? It's by Bridget Rowe, Divine Essentials, okay? Uh, this is a brand new deck, guys. I got it off of Etsy, and uh, I'm going to use it as a clarifier, okay? <laughs> Let's see here. Their spirit, please clarify the energies of this masculine and feminine. Please reveal to me what is the underlying energy with this masculine and feminine, and what is their energy towards each other? What is the underlying energy, please say? What is the underlying energy? Thank you.
Wow, I'm absolutely obsessed with you, obsession. You know, I really feel like this masculine wants to free themselves. Why? Because they're obsessed. They can't release you. They can't let you go. I feel like this masculine wants to come towards you, feminines, okay? That is what I'm seeing. Wow. And towards you? Wow, look at this. I'm ready to open my heart. Intimacy. 888. I don't know if you guys can see it. This masculine, I feel, is ready to open up their heart, okay, towards you, feminine. That's what I'm saying. This masculine has learned to become more intimate. And uh, they're just going with the flow, okay? Because they feel like it, it's kind of serendipitous, you know, with this energy of this masculine coming forward towards you. This is absolutely beautiful. Masculines, they're really thinking about you a lot today, okay, feminines? That is what I'm seeing. Now, with you, I'm sick of pretending to be someone I'm not wearing a mask. Wow. This is what I'm feeling, okay, because it is paired here with this euphoria by honoring yourself. And do you see this? Both uh, of these individuals are wearing a mask of some sort. And feminines, what I'm feeling is that you are honoring yourself by standing in your integrity. You're sick of pretending, you know, of being a certain way, okay? And I really feel like you're, you're putting down your boundaries and stepping into your power, okay that's why i feel like you're releasing the past when it comes to your masculine because it's not really serving you and it really doesn't work because it leaves you feeling upset okay uh, about uh, the connection and how your masculine is really treating you and the situation but i definitely see that this masculine is really obsessed with you feminines they're, they want to free themselves from whatever situation that they're in. They're ready to be intimate, okay? That's what I'm seeing. And towards the masculine, I'm so lonely, but I just want to be left alone. You feel isolated. Wow. Feminines, I feel like you've had it. You know, I really feel like, you know, perhaps some of these masculines weren't able to spend uh, Mother's Day with you and you feel so lonely. You just want to be left alone, you know, because you feel like you're alone. I really feel like this masculine was stuck in a, in a karmic situation, either dealing with their own mother, okay, or another mother type, okay, or... A baby's mama okay take it as it resonates <laughs> that's why this masculine is trying to get out of their situation they want to free themselves because they're they're so attracted to you feminines but you're not having it because you really see that the masculine isn't really showing you you know but they're ready to open their heart if only this masculine could really free themselves is what I'm feeling. Once this masculine really free themselves from whatever karmic situation so that they can be ready to open their heart and be intimate with you, that is when you start trusting in your masculine. But right now, feminines, you're just sick of it. <laughs> you're sick of, of waiting. You're sick of being left alone. You're sick of, you know, this uh, behavior that you're receiving from your masculine. And I really feel like, feminines, you're standing in your power and you are honoring yourself. You're tired of this past situation. That's what I'm feeling. Wow. So let's go ahead and see what is going on with the masculines towards the feminine. Dear Spirit, what is the energy of this masculine towards the feminine? How are they currently thinking of you? How are they feeling? What is it that this masculine wants to do? What do they want to do about this situation? Where their actions? What is their challenge? And what is their outcome? Thank you, Spirit. Overall, we have justice. So I really feel like this masculine wants to balance the scales. They want to do what's right, you know. That's what I'm feeling. They know that they're they're stuck in a situation, but they kept themselves stuck. 
is because they were just going with the flow with whatever that was in front of them. But, you know, towards the feminine, they are merging with the flow because they're feeling this serendipitous, uh, you know, energy of really opening up their heart towards you. They want to be intimate with you, okay, feminines? And I really see that this masculine, if they have been separated from you, I feel like this masculine wants to release, you know, um, this energy of, like, not being with you in the physical. Because I feel like this masculine isn't happy and they want to get out, okay? They want to get out. They want to be with you. Hence the reason why they want to free themselves. I also see that this masculine may not be uh, emotionally mature to offer you, you know, uh, an apology or, you know, or a sweet nothing. That's what I'm seeing. I feel like this masculine is in between. Okay, like there, there's a situation where they're feeling this obsession. They can't understand why are they so obsessed with you. But also at the same token, uh, they're ready to open their heart with intimacy. So if this masculine was a certain way uh, that was more obsessed, I feel like this masculine really wants to be more intimate. Okay, they want to learn to be more emotional with you because they're not happy right now. And they see that, again, they missed an opportunity to be with you. Possibly, you know, this masculine couldn't spend time with you on Mother's Day. They had to spend it elsewhere, is what I'm getting. Okay. And I see that there are some secrets, or maybe there's something that they couldn't see too clearly. That they have to walk away from the past. That is what I'm seeing. And I really feel like when this masculine spent time with their karmics, they were putting up a, a, a fake mask, okay? Very much like the, uh, this feminine. You're sick of pretending uh, that someone that you're not, okay? That's what I'm feeling. I feel like that's how the masculine was towards a karmic situation. But, you know, I really feel that this masculine knows that they have to uh, break this tradition that they have with the karmic and before they can really come forward towards you. And they're feeling lost, Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Because this masculine wants to choose you feminine. Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting. But they're avoiding uh, going through this shift. And I see that, you know, they're not happy in whatever family situation that they're currently in. Okay, and I see that that's why they're not coming forward quickly. This masculine is healing. I really feel like you are their wish desire. They have high hopes that you guys can work it out is what I'm feeling because this masculine holds a lot of love uh, for you within themselves even you know when they're in a rocky or turbulent situations and I see that they're really stressed out okay guys and they're really broken hearted because of third party you know, they just want to let go of their burdens. I feel like there it was a lot for this masculine. They were really hurt that they couldn't really spend time with you or they couldn't reach out to you because they had other obligations with a karmic, a karmic situation, someone from their past, you know, things like that. And it, while they're spending time with them, I really feel like they wanted to free themselves because there's like this obsession that they have with you. They really want to be more intimate, okay? Yeah, because they're thinking of the past, you know, but they're just taking their time because they know that they have ended it with you, feminines. That's what I'm seeing because of a third party situation. And they're, they're not very clear. They have to be clear with their intentions before moving forward. So they can give you this offer in the physical, okay guys? So masculines are thinking about you. Now it's a matter of are they really going to break free or are they going to still keep this in their head, okay? Let's see. How are they thinking of you? We have two of cups in reverse. This masculine is thinking that, you know, they didn't offer you a relationship. They didn't offer you a partnership, you know. That is what I'm seeing, but they're ready to open up their heart feminines, you know, and this masculine knows because you're sick of pretending to be someone you're not. You're putting up a mask. You're honoring yourself. You, you put out with the masculine's BS, right? 
and you're just lonely and you don't want to be left alone you feel isolated that's why you want to release the past with your masculine you're tired of being in, in this uh, position so how does the masculine feel we have the wheel of fortune the masculine feels that there's unfinished business the cycle needs to be uh, completed, okay, with whatever old situation that they're in before they can really move forward towards you. So what is it that they want? They want to come forward, feminines. You know, I definitely see that they're in the energy of wanting to move things along. So what are their actions? Judgment. They're afraid of being judged. You know, they're afraid of being judged that, yeah, they spend time with the karmic, it wasn't that they wanted to. It was out of obligation and duty, okay? Because that's what they were used to. It was kind of like a traditional thing from what I can feel. You know, they were really thinking about their children at that point. But also, you know, I feel like some of these masculines are really reflecting on their relationship with their own mothers, okay? That is what I'm feeling. But, you know, this masculine is afraid of being judged. So what is their challenge? ace of pentacles in reverse so the challenge is to offer you something in the physical because right now they're not okay that's why they feel bad you know their their thoughts of you are there but they're not taking any action that's why you're tired of it feminines so what's the outcome page of wands okay so they might reach out to you in a very small way this could be small uh talk Maybe sending you uh, a message, you know, like a, a musical, a music video or something like that. You know, this masculine, if they're in a family situation, they're not happy. They might be telling you that they spent time with their family and they weren't happy. You know, some of these masculines are ending it, you know, and they just lack the strength to break free. That's what I'm saying. I feel like, you know, they're so used to it. It's just easy to just go with the flow than to end things and rock the boat. Yeah, look at this. Because they're not happy with this uh, family situation. Or they lack the strength in coming into union with you, feminines. Okay? Why? Because they need to end um, a karmic a tie that they have with a family or someone that they invested into long term. That's what I'm feeling. So I really feel like this masculine is going to message you, okay, about the situation. And they know that, you know, you you mean business. You're always creative. You always have, you know, a way to work, work things out. And that's what they admire about you. And I see that this masculine is trying to plan for their escape. You know, they're trying to uh, move away from the karmics. You know, but they're feeling stuck right now, okay? So, I don't see any uh, major movements with this masculine. I just see that small talk. Masculines, uh, they were just comfortable in a situation. They're thinking about you in a certain way, but they're not doing much, guys, okay? They just don't have the courage to totally end it with the karmic. So, let's see. Feminines, what is your energy towards your masculine? How are you currently thinking of them? How are you feeling? What is it that you want to do? What do you want to do about this situation? What is your challenge? And what is the outcome? So feminines, you know, you feel like there's no balance. You know, masculine is giving more towards the karmic and you got like a text message all you got was a maybe a happy mother's day and some of you probably didn't receive none at all okay you know take it as a resonate and in the meanwhile your masculine is out with uh you know spending time with a karmic because why you know they're the baby's mama okay that's what i'm feeling you know and feminine you're feeling it a certain way it just feels lonely. You don't like being uh, separated from your masculine. And so, uh, what else? 
yeah, you also don't want to give in to the situation. You know, I just feel like, you know, you're holding back. And you really can't see what the future might bring, you know. And I also see that, you know, you're, you're healing over this, you know. You're tired of the situation. Hence the reason why, you know, you're burning away the past. You're like, you know, this is just too much, you know. And you're sick of pretending to be someone you're not, okay. You know, you just feel left out, feminines. That's the feeling I'm getting. And why? Because your masculine isn't with you in the physical. They're out fathering or, or being a, a provider or a protector for someone else. And you feel like it's the yeah. end. But also I feel like, you know, feminines, you want to change. You want to transform this energy. Because you don't feel good about it. You know, you feel like you're the person that, that is not to be with your masculine. And you want a commitment, you know. You want to learn from the situation also. And I feel like you're ascending. You know, you also feel like, you know, uh, maybe you're, uh, you know, over judgmental, you know, about the masculine situation, you know, about how, uh, you know, you're not happy with, you know, missed opportunities, you know, and I really feel like you're tired of being uh, stuck by yourself. You, you want, you want to get out of the separation and I feel like you're healing, you know, maybe you need more time to heal feminines. Because I feel like you're getting impatient, you know. And I also see that, you know, you're ready to get out of this uh, feeling of not having enough. And you've made a choice, okay, to work on the situation. To give your masculine a new offer of love. So, these are for some feminines who who feels like they have the courage to go through it, okay? Because right now, this masculine isn't really coming forward, and some some of these feminines, okay? And these aren't for everyone, okay? Take what parts that resonate. But this feminine wants to approach the masculine. But you feel like you can't give it, okay? And you feel like you don't have the tools necessary. And something, you know, has shifted your perception that you're going to make the choice okay of holding back because you feel stuck so okay so you want to do it but you feel like you can't okay and i also see that you're not going to go with it okay you're not moving forward so feminine is like oh that's why you want to burn up the past. You know, I feel your frustration. You want to burn away the past. You're just sitting in this chair. You know, your mask going to sing here on your mind. You know, all you get is, um, you know, a small text message, you know, thinking about you, hoping you're having a lovely, happy Mother's Day, and that's it. You know, that's what you're thinking, feminines, you know, and, you know, you're like, this isn't life. Why am I like wanting this relationship when your person isn't really giving in to the situation? And masculines, they're thinking that, you know, they, they, they didn't offer you much because there's a karmic person in between you and them and they have to give towards the karmic but the the thing about it is that this, this masculine doesn't even like giving to the karmic. It's an obligation. They just feel like, you know, it, it's it's the, the common thing to do. So how are you thinking? <laughs> You're thinking about cutting off the masculine. You don't want to talk to masculine. You're like, oh, that's a nice text message. That's it? That's how I'm feeling. Okay, now, like I said, this isn't for every feminine out there. <laughs> it's a group of you. So how are you feeling? We have the moon. I really feel that. You know, you're trying to use your intuition. You're trying to really look at your emotions. There's a lot of things that are kept hidden inside and you want to express them. You're, you're really moody. You're feeling really emotional when it comes to your masculine, you know, and the masculine knows that they just need to close out the karmic cycle. But it's like when masculine, you know, that is why feminines are fed up or they're just tired of waiting. They're tired of putting up a mask, tired of being a secret, you know, things like that. So feminines, what is it that you want? We have King of Swords. You want the masculine, okay, to really talk. 
Because I feel like, you know, this mask on isn't really communicating. You know, they could have cut you off. Okay, you want the mask on to cut you off. That's that's the feel I'm getting. For some of you feminists, you just wish the mask on can cut you off. You know, but here comes the mask on. They're coming, you know, with the Knight of Swords. You know, they're coming. They're like, feminines, I'm coming for you. And you're like, really? Why? For a hot minute? Why don't you just cut me off? <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. Like, some of you feminines, y'all y'all had it with your mask on, okay? I really feel like, you know, these are for uh, a collective of you who are, like, having very small communication or communication things like that at least you guys are talking okay that's the feeling that i'm getting here you know and if you are not in communication the masculines are thinking about it and they're doing it through telepathy because i don't see much action going on here so what are, what are your actions feminines we have here king of cups in reverse you're holding back you know you're like, you know, I'm not, I'm not feeding into this, you know, I'm not feeling it. What is this happy Mother's Day when you're not really happy? That's the feeling that I'm getting. Wow, feminine y'all are. Hmm. So what's your challenge? We have a seven of wands. You know, feminines, I really feel like you're, you know, your challenge is to not be so defensive. I really feel like you're hurt. You don't like how the masculine is coming off when it comes to you. You don't like the small little text messaging that they're offering, and that's all you get. It's like you feel like you're beneath your masculine, and, you know, they don't even treat you like equally but even though that they sent your message i feel like that's not even enough for you it's like you know is a mask gonna make an effort to come see me you know at least you know or something like that or do something sweet or or something right so what's the outcome i see if i you're gonna be thinking about the past you're reflecting on the past a lot about how you love the mask on but here you are, you're not even opening up towards a masculine because a masculine has um, repressed their feelings. They're not really showing you. You know, if they are, they're giving you like a little bit and you feel a certain way about it. You're like, wow, this, this don't feel right, you know? It, you don't feel good, you know? Even though the, the masculine message you. So that's what I'm feeling, guys, okay? So, let me go ahead and see what else. What, is, what else is going on with the masculines and the physical? What else is going on with the masculines and the physical? Wow. Really? I'm just going to take this. Okay. That was a lot. What is going on with the masculines and the physical? What is currently going on with them? Please do. You know, maybe there was a lot that happened over you know, the weekend and for today. What is currently going on with the masculines? What is currently going on with the masculines for today in their physical life? Okay. Pay attention to your finances. So maybe they bought, you know, uh, their mom some flowers or a gift, you know. Climbing towards success. So there, there is something that is positive that's coming towards the masculine. And I see that they were getting together with friends. They might be getting together with friends today or it could have happened over the weekend. Uh, something important such as a new job or raise. So this uh, coming together could be uh, because of a job situation. Also, masculines are feeling really lighthearted and carefree, and they should accept valid criticism. So, you know, I feel like they're just taking it with a grain of salt, right? Hidden secrets can harm me. I feel like this masculine is keeping secrets while they're with their peers, okay? This could be family, too. Success assured with good plans and hard work. So, 
you know, there's something good that's really coming towards this mask, and I feel like it, it's in a job situation. Protection from a powerful friend. So there is a friend that this masculine has that really looks after them. That's actually really good. And there's good news. So there's there's good news happening, okay? And pleasure from a close friend. Wow. Now, this one is questionable. <laughs> what kind of pleasure are they having with a close friend? Is that why they're not talking to you? Now, feminine, some of y'all, y'all get worked up over that, but just get this, okay? They are obsessed with you. They're learning to free themselves from a karmic situation. They're ready to open their heart to be more intimate, okay? They're trying to merge with the flow. This is going to take time. Right now, I really feel like, you know, there's a new job opportunity uh, coming towards this masculine, or they, they got it from a friend of theirs, you know, and the friend is actually helping them or hooking them up with a job. You know, this could lead to, uh, you know, extra income. So that is actually really good for your masculine, okay? Also, there is some good news coming towards this masculine. You know, I really feel like it has to do with a job, okay, or a lead for a new job or, a, you know, a secondary job, whatever the case is, okay? That's what I'm feeling, you know? So, I mean, it's actually all right. So, feminines, what is currently going on with you today? What is currently going on with you today? Good luck. <laughs> really? What is currently going on with the feminines today? What is currently going on with the feminines today? What is... Mm? Jeez. What is currently going on with the feminines for today? So there's news that's coming, feminines, okay? You're going to have some good luck. I really wouldn't worry about this situation, okay? Let the situation unfold. It's a Monday, okay? That's all I have to say. And there's going to be peace and harmony. So feminines, I mean, overall, I mean, in your physical situation, whether or not, you know, you're with your masculine, you're going to have a good day. I mean, you feel at peace. You're going to receive some good news, and there's good luck, so you can't beat that. Masculines are also getting good news, too. So this could be if you guys are really communicating with each other. Um, you you know, your masculine's being protected from uh, a friend, okay? So don't worry so much if your masculine's getting caught up in a bad deal, you know? Um because they're getting together with friends, okay? And I feel like they're climbing towards success here. But they have to watch out for their, their money, okay? So let me go ahead and close out this reading with uh, an oracle card. And see, what is the guidance for this collective for today? You know, because I really feel that, you know, people are going back to work. You know, feminines, you're, you're a little bent out of shape over what happened yesterday, okay? That's the feeling I'm getting. Like, uh, you know, some of you guys received a message from your masculine, but it was like a simple message and that was it. You know, it's like you appreciated the masculine and you just wish that you could have had more. Masculines, you know, they're obsessed with you, okay? They, they want to be intimate with you, but it's going to take some time and feminines, you just feel lonely without your masculine. I really feel like, you know, this is just, you know, not being with them in a physical level. But you're definitely feeling them in a 5D sense, okay, on a spiritual level, okay? Gentle moderation. Take your time. Pressure from others or yourself can be released by renegotiating what you're trying to accomplish. Wow, this is a really beautiful message for today. So gentle moderation between masculines and feminines. Everything comes in moderation, you know, baby steps, right? You know, today's not a day to make like leaps and bounds, um, major changes, you know, very small changes. At least the thought is there, you know, and as you know, what we think we 
manifest. And so if the intention is there, then just know that, you know, in the future, you know, these things should, you know, come into fruition. So I really hope that uh, today's reading was helpful. Let me know what you think. And thank you again for liking, sharing, and commenting on this video. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily, uh, you know, uh, guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can reach me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And guys, okay, I think I'm booked up for a week already. Uh, so many of you booked readings from Friday up until like today. I think I'm already booked up for the week, but... Um, you know, if you want to like schedule like a twin flame quickie or like a smaller reading, you know, you should be able to get those readings this week. It's just, it's the big ones. Lately, you guys want a karmic reading and I only do one karmic reading a day. And I really, I think I have four or five of you guys, okay, with a karmic reading. So that's like pretty much my whole week. And so... I can only do one karmic reading a day because karmic readings take a lot of energy out of me and I don't want to mix your energy with someone else's that I'm reading for the day. That's why I don't like to, you know, do too many readings when I'm doing a karmic reading because that's your energy, you know. Um, but, you know, I try to, you know, separate uh, a little bit between those readings so those uh, energies don't overlap. So if you like to book a, a personal reading and, you know, you're not in a hurry, okay, you can go ahead and book, okay, guys? I'm just putting it out there. And um, also, if you like, you can follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.